Hi everyone, welcome to Poetry Cafe. My name is Leslie and I'm the Reading Machine Coordinator for Monterey County Free Libraries. Today I am going to read a poem by the Swedish poet Toma Tranströmer. Um, he died in 2015 and he was the recipient of a Nobel Prize. Um, the poem that I'm going to read is called The Blue House and it is a prose poem, meaning that it actually appears as a prose piece it's not broken up into lines, but rather paragraphs, but it's still a poem, just called a prose poem. So this is The Blue House. It is a night of radiant sun. I stand in the dense forest and look towards my house with its haze blue walls, as if I had recently died and saw the house from a new angle. It has stood more than 80 summers. Its wood is impregnated with four times joy and three times sorrow. When someone who lived in the house dies, it is repainted. The dead person himself does the painting without a brush from within. On the other side, there is open terrain, once a garden now overgrown, unmoving breakers of weeds, pagodas of weeds, pouring forth text, Upanishads of weeds, a Viking fleet of, weed, fleet of weeds, dragon heads, lances, an empire of weeds. The shadow of a boomerang thrown over and over again flaps above the overgrown garden. It is connected with someone who lived in the house long before my time, almost a child. An impulse issues from him, a thought, a command, create, draw, to be able to escape his fate. The house looks like a child's drawing, a vicarious childishness that developed because someone too early abandoned the task of being a child. Open the door, come inside, inside, there is unrest in the ceiling and peace in the walls. Over the bed hangs an amateur painting of a ship with 17 sails, hissing crests of the waves and a wind that the gilded frame can't stop. It is always so early inside here before the fork in the road, before the irrevocable decision. Thanks for this life. Still, I miss alternatives. All sketches want to become real. Far off, over the water, a motor stretches the summer night's horizon. Both joy and sorrow swell in the magnifying glass of the dew. We don't really know it, but we sense it. There is a sister ship to our life, which takes a totally different route while the sun burns behind the islands. And that's it. That was The Blue House by Toma Tranströmer. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.